Hi there, I'm Noah Bradley and today I wanted to answer just a quick little question with regard to tiny houses, small houses, how small to make them, what is the smallest practical size. And I have found over the years of building small homes for individuals and in studying early American homes as far as their size and practicality over the long term. Uh, Henry David Thoreau lived in a small little house, but he only lived in it a year and a half or two before he left, and he was frequently visiting other people during that period. Uh, there is a practical size to a small house, and I have I have pretty much discovered and found out that a, a cabin about this size, whether it's log or it's any built of any other structure, about about six or seven hundred square feet is is what a person needs in order to really be comfortable. Uh, in a in a house this size, you have a a main room with a fireplace that you can you can gather around and have a few friends. Uh, it's got room for a table, a, a sofa, and a chair in there, uh, and you have room for a, a, a little. There's a little addition on the other end that has uh, is perfect for the kitchen, and then upstairs there's a there's a a, a nice size loft up there with uh, four foot knee walls over at the edge, plenty of space to put your furnishing o over at the side there, and have and have a nice ceiling height in there as well to walk around and access the bed. So that's it for today. Thank you much for joining in, uh, and I hope you found this information useful. I'm Noah Bradley. Uh, come see us on Handmade House TV. We'll see you.